Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Amped, and uh, I'm starting to sh this video a little bit behind because uh, I realized my mic wasn't on for a good part of the life, so I just started over, and I'm in this battle right now. I'm using the team Bing Game Made. Uh, let's just go quickly. We got Thunderous is going to be a... Uh, let's just look at the matchup, and I'll go... You guys will see a theme right now. We got Tank Chomp here. Um, Life of Greninja, Bulk Up physical thunderous innovation by Ben Gay himself and uh, I think I want to lead off with this because um, it's pretty good against mo most of his team and if he leads off with his Tapu Koko uh, I should be able to I can go to my Tango because this is so fast and it takes any hit and if he goes like Greninja he should be afraid of the T-Wave so yeah he does go out to his Tapu Koko like I said, I do have an easy switch into my Tangrowth, which is Assault Vest. Uh, Gengar is Scarf, Mawile is Mega Mawile, of course. <laughs> um, whoever wins, I'm still in your team. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I mean, you can find this team on the forums, because it's by Ben Gay. So yeah, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, unfortunately, he's not Life Orb. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting that he's probably going to be, he's going to U-turn into his uh, Celesteela or something. I can't really make a double because he'll, he'll get the initiative regardless if I switch out or not. So I'm just going to stay in and uh, chip the Celesteela. I guess he could also go to Venusaur as Venusaur would be able to take me on. Uh, he goes to Toxic Specs instead. Huh. I'm guessing he wants to get a Toxic Spike up or try, he's, gonna, he's gonna try to fish for Skull Burns. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's go to my Garchomp. Um, I figured he would switch out there, but I guess he just does not care. I mean, Toxic Pack's a monster. It takes, like, any hit from any ground type, which is ridiculous. But he goes into his Celesteela. I just want to Fire Blast this and allegedly get damage. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to protect here. I want to go Gengar to get rid of this spike. He goes into his... Crocodile, I'm forced to click Focus Blast. I doubt he'll stay in here, but I have to Focus Blast as it connects. He goes into his Toxic Specs once more. I don't know if he'd go for a Spike here, because it's obvious I'm going to switch. I could go back out to Garchomp, because Garchomp is... Yeah, he burns me. Um, that's unfortunate. Because Garchomp's not really doing much this match regardless. I mean, it'd be nice to intimidate the um, crook, but it's all good. So here I'm just going to bulk up. Um, if he scarf uh, Stone Age, I, I should be able to live it since I do have a plus one in defense boost. And I think I'm just free to superpower this man. Um, yeah, that's just superpower. This will easily kill him. Uh, he decides to go for rocks, which is fine. I don't have any hazard control. Um, goes into Top of Coco, which is a good play because... I can't any uh, anything that doesn't get affected by the spike toxic spike gets blasted by thunder wave I mean thunderbolt I mean I could go to the guard chomp as well which I think that's the play I'm gonna make I mean he could HP ice here I mean HP ice wouldn't kill me but I don't think I can kill him in return with anything so yeah, let's go Garchomp, because I'm already burned. Spikes aren't doing anything to me. I could pivot to my Gengar, get rid of this spike, and threaten him with the Sludge Wave. I'm expecting him to go Celesteela or Toxapex. He actually stays in. <laughs> Dope. I have no reason why he stayed. I don't know why he stayed in there, but uh, a huge threat in Tapu Koko is gone. Um, I guess I can sack my Garchomp here. What would he go for? Heavy Slam, maybe? He goes for the Leech Seed. Okay. Now I'm going to pivot into my Garchomp here. Hopefully he Heavy Slams, but he could also go for Fire Blast. And Chomp kind of covers both of those things, so... Um, yeah. That's what I go for. Hmm. He actually doubles himself. Hmm. I wonder why he doubled. I, I didn't think he was in a position to... To want to switch, but... I guess he was fearing something. Goes into his Venusaur. Um, let me see if... Uh, hmm, let's see if Thunderous can knock out his... His uh, Venusaur. 
without having to use the flight EMZ. So I'm going to assume he's defensive. I could go to Greninja and extra sensory as well. Huh. What about Mawal? With Mawal's coverage move, I don't think I'll be doing too much. If I was Thunder Punch, maybe I would keep it. Because it, it would like literally body the rest of his team. And I think I should be able to eat, eat a 2 HP fires from Venusaur if he's defensive. So let's see. Okay, he's definitely... I don't know. I don't know. Venusaur, is, I think, has pretty decent attack. So maybe I was overestimating <laughs> Mawal's Spadef. But at this point, um, I go Thunderous and just click Fly. I think even if he recovers, I'm, I'm positive he's still in range of Fly. And if he wants to switch, um, like nothing, Greninja won't appreciate it. I think Fly into Wild Charge with Rocks should knock out Celesteela. Even then, I, I can even bulk up on Celesteela. And um, and I'm pretty sure Toxapex won't appreciate Fly into Wild Charge as well. So here he goes into Greninja, which is fine because uh, Tangrowth pretty much walls this thing. He does U-turn, which is fine. I, this is not gonna bother me too much. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm thinking I should go Grin here because he won't Leech Seed. He'll most likely um, thinking of tricking it with Gengar, but I think I'll go Grin because he should fire blast along those lines. Oh, you have slumps. Um, I'm just gonna HP fire, weaken this thing, put it in like Shadow Ball range. But I think at this point, Dundee, Dundee, Grin, and Tangro should wrap this game up. Yeah, Hidden Power Fire is doing so much. I'm gonna extra sensory here, just in case he wants to go to this Toxapex. And yeah, we get a hefty amount on it. And um, Thunderous can come out here, I believe, and just Wild Charge. At this point, yeah, at this point we should be pretty close to wrapping this up. So yeah, just gonna go for a Wild Charge. He's gonna be forced to sack something here. Whether, let's see what he chooses to sack. He sacks the Celesteela, which is awesome. Goes back out into his um, Greninja here. And I'm just going to Leaf Storm. No reason not to. I always miss this move for some reason. And uh, the streak continues. Because if I Leaf Storm there, if I got at least sword damage plus Earthquake, I think that would have been enough to knock out the Toxapex. And um, so that really sucks that I miss. But what are you going to do? Um, I think I just want to, should I go hard Tangrowth? I want to go Tangrowth, but I don't want to risk him uh, flinching me with Greninja. So I'll just Shadow Ball here. Uh, we get a Spadef drop, which um, it's going to be helpful, but I would have preferred to kill the Toxapex when I <laughs> miss my Leaf Storm. Because I, I do believe my Tangrowth is faster than him. But uh, we'll just Shadow Ball here, and he gets the burn as well, so that really sucks. But we are able to kill his tank, uh, Greninja. If we can get a Spadef drop here, then it'd be nice. Otherwise, this could be tricky. So, I can go Thunderous, or I can go Tangrowth, and spam Earthquake. Let's see. Yeah, 36, dude. Yeah, Leaf Storm and an Earthquake would have easily knocked them out. And you guys see here I am faster than Toxapex. So it really sucks. But, uh, we'll Okay, the crit wasn't enough. I was going to say we could fish for some crits. But the crit's not doing enough. Um, and eventually he'll burn me. So that's kind of sucks. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to... He should roost here. I'm going to roost the Thunderous right now, I think. I don't think there's any way he's scalding. Yeah. Oh, man, let's do this calc here. Um, talk specs, physically defensive, and I have the thunderous set here. Uh, wow, 
Wild Charge plus Z move Fly. Uh, they're doing about the same. The Wild Charge is doing a bit more, but that recoil will kill me, and I don't want him to roost, so I'm thinking if I should bulk up or just side strike. Uh, this is tough. I'll, I'll do this. Okay, he recovered, but like the reason why I didn't go for bulk up because I showed him I had bulk up. Maybe he forgot, but hopefully he doesn't squall me here because I'm going to go for the bulk up right now. And, uh, let's see. Okay, dope. He does not go for the skull and wild charge will put a huge dent into him. Hopefully, okay, how much? 92. Oh my gosh. Okay, earthquake, I think should be able to kill. Let me see. 37, half of 37, 14, 14, 28, I think Earthquake would have killed, actually, I don't know, I was just paranoid that it wouldn't, but I think Earthquake would have killed him, because half of, because he's at 14, 14 doubled is 28, yeah, I would have easily killed with Earthquake, I shouldn't have risked Leaf Storm, <laughs> but I was kind of paranoid that it wouldn't kill, because Toxapex is so damn bulky. Um, okay, opponent also has a Mawal team. I saw also wanted to use his team. It had the cool like uh, thunderous set and it had a Mega Mawal. Though, like this, I don't know. I don't. I don't really like the Mawal set. Um, but Gengar leads pretty nice against him actually, which is what I'm gonna lead against. Like he doesn't have a Shadow Ball switch in. I'm assuming he's gonna be like what Spadef. Tangrowth, maybe? You too, brah. Yeah, he doesn't have a Shadow Ball switch in, so I'm assuming that he's gonna be Spadef Tangrowth. I kinda wanna Sludge Wave, but like on the off chance he goes into Mawa. I mean, he shouldn't make the Mawa play because I'm pretty sure I 2 KO him, and he won't have, um, and he can't Sucker Punch me. So I don't think he'd make the Mawa play, but I'm just gonna Shadow Ball anyways, and yeah, I should've just Sludge Wave. Um, uh, I just played it safe there, and from that damage, it really looks like that it's going to be Spadef, so, 28, I'm pretty sure that, 25, I'm pretty sure that's Spadef damage. <sighs> so let's see, I have a hard time switching into Tangrowth, like especially if he's like Sleep Powder or something, but I go, I'll go Thunderous, hopefully he lets me kill this here. Because if he lets me kill uh, Tank Growth right now, like he doesn't have. Look at his team and look at Gengar. Like, I just click Shadow Ball and just win. <laughs> so hopefully he stays in. Ah, uh, he doesn't. Uh, he goes into his Landers. That sucks. And Sky Strike doesn't kill him. Um. Let me just go for Fly as he gets his rocks up. Um, maybe superpower would have killed at 16. I don't know, man. Lando is bulky. I am at plus one. I'm not too sure. I probably should have calc that, but it's fine. We'll just live with these rocks. <laughs> uh, he'll probably go into his Tapu Lele or Mawal. Yeah, to revenge. As he goes into his Tapu Lele. Um, I don't have a switch into this. I can use Tangro to kind of pivot to see what kind of Lele this is. A Moonblast does 32%. That is quite a bit. Um, does he like specs? Jeez, that did a lot. Um, I think I'm just going to Earthquake and just get damaged. thing is, what if he... I don't know if he'd go like hard Gyarados on me. So I'm kind of want a Leaf Storm, but Earthquake would, I think Earthquake would do more to Lele. I could also double what catches Gyarados, maybe Mawal or Gengar. Uh, that's tricky. I think I'm just going to Earthquake. Try to get as much damage on Lele as I possibly can. Um, huh. So let's see what he wants to do here. Mm. 
I feel like he's probably gonna go to Gyarados. Who knows? Uh, he's taking his time. Yeah, he does go into Gyarados. Um, I mean, he's definitely Mega Mawile, so I know that he's Fly DMZ uh, Gyarados. So I'm gonna Leaf Storm here because they're probably uh, Dragon Dance. I think he would at least. Um, I don't think any double here would print it benefit me, so I'm just gonna Leaf Storm. Yeah, unless he just hard writes out like Supersonic Sky Strikes. Okay, yeah. So Leaf Storm did a good about good amount. I think I'm gonna go hard into Maul because I do have Intimidate. And um, yeah, I, I should be able to chew a neutral Supersonic Sky Strike if he goes for that. So let's see, okay, awesome. And here we can just go for a moon, I mean a play rough to kind of, okay. That really sucks. <sighs> that really sucks. I mean, yeah, he missed his bounce, but like, he got way more damage off than he would have with the earthquake then bounce <laughs> but it's Pokemon dude it happens it's all good um, I think I, if I didn't miss that I would have been able to take a hit from top of Lele possibly unless he specs I don't think he would have been able to kill me with anything unless he specs because I definitely eat a scarf moonblast or HP fire and if he specs that means I know Gengar and Thunny should outspeed it and it won't be that much of a threat to me um, now it's time to see whether I should sack this or not, because let's play a game where I got hacked every turn. Yeah, I literally had a game like that, the last live. <laughs> uh, but it happens, dude. Yeah, I was playing the live, I was actually laddering up because I like tilted so badly. I was using a team Riv Mate with a uh, sticky web. Those sticky webs like Mimikyu, Bisharp, and, it, and then I got plus two of my Mimikyu, and my dude brings in his um, Ferrothorn on me, and I do 80% to the Ferrothorn with the crit, and he flips out about the crit, and I'm like, crit, and I'm like dude, I did 80, like, <laughs> I would have 2 KOG without the crit regardless, and then, I mean, from that point on, I literally hacks the shit out of him, but from, <laughs> from him reacting that way earlier, I just atta antagonized him. <laughs> But man, I mean, that's just how it goes, man. Is you get hacks and you hacks in this game sometimes. Um, but yeah, he, I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna be locked in the psychic. Even if he isn't, I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to scout for a gunk shot. I'm surprised he went uh, growth there. Cause um, yeah, since he took that HU fire pretty well, I don't know if that's that's like a soul vest or not. But I'm surprised he went hard there. Cause I kind of, I don't know. Oh, he rock slided there. <sighs> okay, that was bad. See, I, I, I was thinking he would earthquake. I didn't, I didn't think about the possibility of him having like rock slide. Uh, and yeah, he is pretty weak to Volcarona, so rock slide makes sense on his Tangrowth. Um, dang it, this is really bad. Cause I need a guard chomp around for the Mega Maw. Well. And I need to be out of Sucker Punch range so I can Earthquake it. But now everything's already taking a bunch of damage from this tank growth. Uh, I should have stayed with Greninja. <sighs> I messed up. I mean, it's still not over yet, so we'll see. Um, I think my Garchomp might be in range of Sucker Punch anyways at this point. Um... I think he's out of a Shadow Ball range from Gengar too, so that kind of sucks. This is Fire Blast again, and I missed the Fire Blast, which uh, it's not too big of a deal. Um, I would I would think that he would defog here because spikes really annoy his Mawile, um, Tangrowth, and Top Lele, and it might end up making a difference with Shadow Ball late game. So I'm just going to stay in with Chomp. Uh, I mean, he also could Draco, but like I have a Sylvester Tangrowth. 
I don't know if he calc the damage to see if Tangrowth throws a Soul Fest or not, but he goes for Surf and I live. And, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this shit never ends. <laughs> uh, I missed my Dragon Tail, which was pretty big. Um, it would have forced, especially if I got like something like Mawile or Tangrowth in, uh, that spike damage could have been pretty huge. Um, that's really unfortunate that I missed. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. It happens. Um, I think Gengar is the only play here. Um, Greninja can't touch this. Well, at least with this set, we can't touch him. So yeah, we're just gonna Shadow Ball here. Um, the only thing I can hope for is that he goes like hard. Mawile or hard. <laughs> I gotta hope that he doesn't have Sucker Punch on Mala and he goes hard into it or hard Tangrowth. <laughs> That's what I gotta bank off of. So he goes into his Mala here um, and he just play roughs. Uh, unfortunate. Let me see. I'm just gonna Earthquake and um, just pray and hope that he's not Sucker Punch. But I, I don't see why you wouldn't have Sucker Punch on your Mawile. And I'm going to have to crit his Tangrowth. So, <laughs> it's very not likely that I'm going to be able to win this game. Um, so, let's just go for Shadow Ball. I think this should be able to knock out uh, Mawile. And he goes hard into his Tangrowth. Oh, that's weird. Hopefully we crit. Nope. Not sure why he risked Tangrowth. If anything, he should have... Um, if he didn't have Sucker Punch, he should have sacked Lele there and then went Tangrowth. Instead of risking, like, putting it in crit range of my Shadow Ball, but it's whatever. We'll just get on to the next game. Um, another game, potentially, where Gengar can <laughs> quote-unquote Shadow Ball uh, sweep. But I'm guessing that he's a Sylvest Tangrowth as well. Uh, he probably won't have Rock Slide this time because he has Heatran paired up with him, but who knows. And uh, isn't that Garchomp as well, so Garchomp or Heatran could be his rocker. He leads off with his Heat uh, Metagross. Uh, I know Gengar is pretty weak without his Life Orb, so I don't know if I'll be able to Oko. That's Mega. I don't know if I'll be able to Oko Metagross without a Life Orb, so let's just put none there. And Metagross. Huh, okay, Mega, oh you all out attacker. Yeah, Shadow Ball doesn't kill any, he can kill me with Zen Head, but I don't know if he'd risk it here, but um, I'm not gonna risk a roll here for this. As he does go into his tank growth, I wanna get rocks up, but I also wanna keep Garchomp healthy to keep it out of helmet range. Hmm. <laughs> but what else am I gonna get rocks up on? I guess I could have it on Heatran. I think I just need I just need to get rocks up. I'm just gonna go for rocks. And he has HP Ice. Uh, that sucks. But here I think I can go into my Mawile, I believe. <clears throat> and go Mawile or Thundee. Huh. I don't know. I can also go to Grin here. Because he's either going to knock off or HP Ice. Okay, yeah, he did knock off. So he knocks off my uh, Sylvest, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? I'm just going to go for an HP Ice to weaken this thing. He goes into his Garchomp, which I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Maybe Was he trying to predict Sludge Wave? Maybe? Because I don't understand why you went hard Garchomp when you have a Heatran. I mean, especially since it's Air Balloon, he should have just went to your Heatran instead. I don't know why he risked his Garchomp there. I mean, the crit still sucks, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, after I go for HP Ice, what was he going to do to me? Fire Fang? Because I eat a Fire Fang, and then I get Reach In back up. But here, he's probably going to go to this Tangro, so I just want to get this Spike up. He doesn't have any Hazard Control as well, so a Spike up would be nice. That is dope. I think I just want to HP Fire here to weaken the Tangrowth and kind of gauge what set it is. 
by the damage. Um, so let's see. Uh, 41. I'm assuming he's the same spread as that last tank growth. I, I still don't know what the damage means. <laughs> I can calc it, but I'm lazy. Um, I think I'm pulling an extra sensory on the off chance he goes into like... I don't think he'd go Heatran. Uh, if he wants to go to Keldeo. To try to like keep his health. I mean, to keep his tank growth at, at a better health. Because at this point, Gengar is looking really good to just sweep with uh, Shadow Ball. So, I mean, that's fine, because he's still going to be in Shadow Ball range. Um, and I'm just going to go to my Gengar and just click Shadow Ball. I'm positive by 2 a KO everything. Heatran, it's pretty bulky. I don't know if he'll take 2, especially since he's offensive. I doubt you'd be Spadef Balloon. That'd be a weird set. Um, let's see what he goes into here. He can go to Kelio. I'm guessing he can go to... No, Metagross will be in range of my Shadow Ball now. He goes into Alakazam. Which is actually pretty sketch, because I think he might be Focus Sash Zam, and uh, uh, he gets a Spadef drop. <laughs> I guess revenge for that crit, except uh, that really sucks. I just wanted to break his Sash so that I can click Shadow Ball. I'm positive he's Sash Gang. I'm mean, Alakazam. Uh, let me see. Uh, there's no point in calcing. Um. I think I'm going to go to pivot to my Mawile. He goes for Psychic. That does so much. Um, I'm just going to knock off. And he misses his Focus Blast. <laughs> okay then. I guess I should have just Sucker Punched him. I don't know. I didn't think he'd let me break his Sash on his Alakazam. But I guess he stayed in, wasn't really thinking about that. Okay, so now we're even for that Spadef drop. <laughs> um, at this point, I think I just want a Sucker Punch to get this thing into Gengar's range. So let me see how much Keldeo, how, mu how much weaken I need to get the Keldeo to see how much Shadow Ball doing to 44 to 52. <sighs> Yeah, there's no way Sucker Punch is doing that much. But I believe I can go to Tank Growth and save my Mawile. Yeah, as we are able to eat. And um, Earthquake also would put him into... I think Earthquake's no drawback if he goes to Tran. Uh, but I forgot that he was... <laughs> I forgot he's Earth uh, Air Balloon. Earthquake was a quote-unquote good play there because it, it would probably put him in range of... Um, Shadow Ball and it hit Metagross and Heatran but I forgot Heatran was on the air below <laughs> my bad but after this I can go into my Thunderous and just click Super Power uh, yeah I believe that's the play yep just Super Power nope, I, I don't know why I was get antsy to just click <laughs> Z-move, Supersonic Sky Strike. So we're just super out here. He lives with 1%. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he dodges a Magma Storm. I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty lucky against this guy. But, um... I mean, at this point... I'm not gonna lie, having Thunderous alive is pretty helpful for me. But, it... it Tangrowth and uh, Gengar pretty much had this game wrapped up. Like, he had no Shadow Ball switching. Um... Like, if, say, for instance, I he did hit me with Magma Storm, I'm not sure if it would have killed me. Even if it did kill me, I go Gengar, Shadow Ball. He goes into his Metagross or Keldeo. If he goes Metagross, I kill him with Shadow Ball. If he goes Keldeo, I go to Tangrowth. Um, he could double if he wants to. But um, I, I had another sack. I forgot what Maul was alive, but I had another sack that I could go to. And to my Maul Wall, it would have been my sack. And he would have been forced to sack... Um, Either his uh, Metagross or Keldeo there. But, uh, it's enough theory mining. Let's get to the... I think this is the fourth? Third or fourth match? I can't... I lost track. <laughs> but, yeah. This, uh, this team has put in a good amount of work. And, uh... My man's got Zapdos. Uh, I freaking hate Zapdos, dude. It's so good, this gen. It's just like, as a mon, you don't really prepare for. And then when you see it, you're like, uh, X. <laughs> he also has a Volcarona, which could be very threatening. 
Especially against my team. <laughs> if he gets plus one, that's that might be a wrap. Um, ASI guard's also a threat. So we'll see. I think I want to lead off with Garchomp. Yeah. And um, I could detail him here. I think details the play just in case he requires a quiver or something. Actually, let me see if, how much earthquake is it doing. Uh, full Corona. Let's assume he's this offensive at least. Let's go guard chomp, tank chomp. Well, let me go with the custom set. Earthquake to it KOs, and I pretty much eat whatever hit he wants to go for. He goes into his own Zygarde. His Zygarde takes 37. Okay, that's definitely, like, not bulky damage. <laughs> so he's, like, offensive. I don't know if he's, like, Bandit or Dragon Dance, but I know that he's offensive from that damage, at least. Uh, we can use Tangrove as a pivot. Since he has Outrage, I'm going to assume that he's Bandit. I'm going to go to my Mawile, because if he's not Bandit, at minus one, I take a... Uh, what's it called? A thousand Arrows from him, but I'm positive that he's... he's Outrage. I mean, he's banned from that damage, and uh, <laughs> not bad, dude. I get the flame body on the first time I go for an attack here, which sucks because if he wants to quiver, he can quiver here. Um, I don't think Gengar will help me, especially if he gets plus one to death. I think I gotta go chomp, huh? Yeah, I think I gotta go chomp. If he's HP Ice, that could really suck. Uh, let's see. Inferno Overdrive, so he, or Overdrive, he wastes his Z move here. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, Earthquake kills him, so <laughs> he stays in. Well done, my guy. And then he crits me. Hi. I didn't understand that play. Uh, he goes into Zapdos. I could pivot and he's definitely going to HP Ice. Uh, I don't think he's going to be Defog. He should be 3 attacks, Roost. Seeing that he does have the top of Fini that provides Defog as well. So I'm going to go to my Mawile here and um, SD up. Should I do that play? Because Heat Wave is going to come out. So let's see. I think I want to go to Grin here. There's no way he's not Heat Waving. There's no way you're not gonna heat wave. Let's, let's go to Grin. 32. That's, oh, he's Life Orb Zapdos. So I'm gonna go for a spike here. Uh, that kind of covers him going for T Wave. Uh, after he goes for the spike, he should kind of scout for Gunk Shot. So that's what I'm hoping that he would do. But Spike, if I spike here, I don't think he'd be able to kill me with Heat Wave regardless. So let's see if he wants to scout for Gunk Shot. Because I, I just showed that I'm spikes. Uh, it, if I am gunk shot, I don't think he has any other play regardless. So uh, I'm just gonna go for a spike here. I don't think Moonblast will be able to kill me. And the spike's still pretty nice too. He goes into Volcarona. Okay, is he trying to bank for a miss here? But I'm just I'm pretty sure I killed Volcarona. But let me see if HP Fire can kill or extra sensory. 44, 52. Uh, it's not enough. I don't think. How much is he at? 58. You have to go for Hydro Pump. And luckily enough, we do hit. So Volcarona, which was a big threat, which could actually sweat my team late game, is gone. Um, I, don't, I feel like he played it pretty recklessly. So here he goes into Nihilego. This could probably be Scarf. And I can go to my Tangrowth here. Oh, he Stealth Rocks. I always forget that this thing could be Rockus. I'm so used to Nihilegos being like Scarf. <laughs> but it makes sense. He goes into Zapdos here. Um, I think I just want to Rock Slide. Because he showed me that he's offensive. Rock Slide would do a ton. And here, I think I want an Earthquake. Um, yeah, if he wants to Roost. Uh, unfortunately, I forget that uh, <laughs> Heat Wave would have been able to take me out. I mean, it's fine though. 
I'm just gonna shadow ball. Um, I think Nihilego might be able to take it, but that's his only switch in. Yeah, so with this damage, the next time around that Gengar is in, he won't be able to... He won't have a switch and everything gets 2 hit KO'd. Zygar should be 2 hit KO'd. Zapdos will die. Metagross... Uh, I needed to take spikes twice, but... It should be fine. Uh, let's see. He goes for Power Gym and does 19. Um... Let me see, should I, I don't want to give him a power gem boost, let me go Mawile and save my Garchomp, yeah that's not doing much, um, kind of wish I wasn't burned, but I think my optimal play is knocking off, yeah let's just knock off, okay goes top of Fini, knock off, uh, if I play with that probably would have died, but I'll just play rough here. Use choice specs. Your choice specs defog? That doesn't seem too reliant. <laughs> Especially when you have two bonds that are definitely very weak to that. But I can just shadow ball here. He literally has no switch ins. Um, maybe Zygar can come in. I think Zygar is the only thing that can eat a shadow ball. But he goes to Nihilego. Uh, I did 32 to you last time. Unless I got like a super high crit, you should die here. So I'm not sure why he made that play, but uh, I appreciate you. So let me see how much Gengar is going to be doing to Zygarde. Let me see. Life Orb. We're not having Life Orb. It's probably going to do nothing, dude. Because Gengar is so weak. Met Gross. I forgot the A. Meta Gross. OU All Out Attacker. Uh, I'm going to do a Zygarde, not Meta Gross. I know I already know how much it does to Metagross. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's offensive. 38 to 45. Yeah, I am nowhere near there. Uh, let's go into... Uh, I probably should have saved that and went to Thunderous. <laughs> I mean, saved that and went to... Gre I mean, not Greninja. But it's fine. Exocentury here. Puts, that means he's definitely going to... If he stays in, he's in range for Shadow Ball. If he goes to Metagross, um, I mean, the Zapdos, it dies. If he goes to Metagross, uh, he's definitely in range for... He definitely would be in range of Shadow Ball. Okay, he does have Bullet Punch. I gotta hope Gengar lives the Shadow Ball. I mean, Bullet Punch from Metagross. Um, I think we should live. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we don't live, we pretty much just lose this game. 53 to 63. Okay, what are we at? 75, we take rocks. We're at 64. <laughs> okay, so he needs like l literally max to win. And uh, we live. Okay, that could have been scary if he crit us there, but now we win because if he goes, I mean, he has to go to Zygarde. I Shadow Ball. If he, eat, if he, he like, can't lock himself into E Speed or. He has to lock himself in the E speed or Earthquake for a thousand arrows. At that point, I just won with Greninja. If he uh, Earth thousand arrows, if he E speed Gengar won. But yeah, it's gonna be a team, man. This works pretty well. Hope you guys enjoy.